what's up guys welcome back to another video here on the gentry and sons youtube channel so everybody probably seen the thumbnail and a lot of people asked yesterday on yesterday's video or not video but on one of our shorts they seen this tractor that we shared and they're like hey we want a full video of that thing so we're here um show's started and uh we're gonna start it off by showing you guys this tractor and we're gonna take it for a little rip the whole nine yards this thing is freaking sweet so guys it's our little super fan so what's your name mason, mason. he knows more about our trucks than we do <laughs> you gonna be a tractor driver yeah. cab overs he literally got up in the cab over he knows more about our trucks than we do <laughs> You want to tell them about this beast? Oh, I guess we can. So let's start with what it is, the, why you done it. Let's let's just get the whole spiel on the it. Whole spiel, huh? So it's a 1948 8N4 tractor. My great grandfather bought it brand new. We used it on the farm. I learned to drive on this thing. Uh, when we stopped farming, it just kind of sat around. Right. We talked about restoring it. It's like, well, you, you drive all day long for nothing. <laughs> so. And it sat around for about eight years, and we finally decided, well, let's do something different. And we wanted to take it, to, wanted to go to SEMA, trying to figure out what, what was something to do different. And I, I don't think I've ever seen one of these. No, this is the only one <laughs> I've ever seen or heard of. Or, um, it is definitely different, guys. So that's a 7.3 liter power stroke. Um, what it came out of a farm truck. It's got 365,000 miles on it. We it just upgraded everything and. Yeah, it don't. Kind of left the internal stock. It don't sound like a stock. <laughs> Three hundred sixty-five thousand. Yeah, it's got a few upgrades, but nothing crazy. So guys, this thing is—it's uh, cool. It runs good. It sounds cool. Um, I've been trying to talk him into let me drive the dang thing, um, but it's still got the factory transmission. What are you doing? You're going to change the transmission this year? Oh, we're going to do a. Um, we're going to do the two-speed transmission in it. So. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll split it this winter and throw that in there. Just give you extra set of gears basically yeah so now it probably runs out of gear pretty quick huh oh real 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 quick <laughs> about 25 28 mile an hour that's still getting it, it done is. on a tractor this size and uh we're hoping to get 36 37 out of man guys this thing is absolutely sick and just the details in it is so we use uh, the factory throttle we use the factory starter uh, we try to keep it as much as stock as possible. The factory key, I mean, everything's in the location. Yeah, like literally everything. So does the beat, does all the hydraulics still absolutely, work? Absolutely, yeah. Yep, absolutely. So we can put a plow on this thing and really start. We're actually building one to take take around a couple of shows. So it'll match the tractor. So guys, if you want to follow this thing and follow him, you want to shout out your social medias? Yeah, so we're on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, everything. It's uh, Firewire LEDs. Uh, we have small youtube channel so, uh, so guys, we're working on it yeah so we're gonna be doing some stuff with them we're gonna actually have them come down and help us with some of the trucks and use some of their lights and he does safety lights he does everything all of them um his, his stuff's really pretty good but you can go follow him and see all that stuff and uh i'm sure you'll be seeing him on the channel yep, coming up but um oh. <laughs>
it does take off fast, don't it? Well, it gets it quick, don't it? That's like instant. We'll put his link down in the comments below where you go to check him out on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Um, I'm definitely going to be following this thing. I want to see where it goes and uh, to see what what the heck he can do with it. Dude, I definitely, he don't want to let me drive it. I blow it up. Right now. He's like, you can drive it. I said, no. Nah. No. Nah. I'll, I'll have it flipped or blowed up or can't put me on something and say go for it. Yeah. Maybe we should build Braxton's tractor like that. Hey, we could. You got we a tractor. tractor. You got that same tractor. We could slap a 12 valve or something in it. That would be pretty cool. Oh, man. There's Johnny Cash and the old cab over to the GMC. Everybody loves both trucks. They have been all over them. Both days, actually. I need to fire that thing up and let it build up air pressure. Let the airbags come up. Dude, them wheels are gonna clean up good. Look at them right now already. Not far from it, the way they are. I need to polish up on them. Little little renegade. Yeah, them are pitted there. We yeah, sand that down. Cut them down. He said they're really awesome to to do them wheels, like the um, polish them. Right. These are pretty easy to do. Polish guys, like I love those. We stuff. don't have that center, that water. Well, yeah. no, you got really rev it up and do it. Look Just take it to red line and then. There you go. And you drive us cross country? I mean, I would. <laughs> hey, I'm going to give us a job. You're going to drive us like Washington for us. Pretty cool, ain't it? They're, they're, they get a lot more modern now, but this is my style of truck. You can't see the wires for the headlights. It's not a truck. Uh, I'm sure it's rolled over a couple times. I'd say it's probably got three million on it. Yeah, this thing worked all the way up until uh, a couple years ago. Yep. I don't think they'll ever retire to me. <laughs> they do, do too good of a job. Say so that's right. <laughs> better pick you one out. She don't give away stuff much, so better take advantage of it. I got my wallet. Okay, I didn't off the shelf. Everybody picks that one up. It's the blue one. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's got, I've been wiring that one around actually. <laughs> <laughs> We're up here with Brian. He brought us up here on the golf cart and he's gonna be our guide today and we're gonna take you throughout the whole truck show there is everything here from cab overs peter belts i mean everything there, if you like a truck and you want to see a cool truck you're probably going to see it here today so we're going to get started and get on the golf cart and go check it all out we got the wife from braxy oh at least we got a yamaha golf cart all right, guys, we're going to start at the road and just work our way in and out and the whole nine yards. Dude, there is... We got almost... I don't know what the final number is. It's, uh, we're over 90 trucks, 100% sure. And we may even have... We may have broke 100, I don't know. But there's a lot. A lot, way more than I thought you were going to get this part. You've been at it. There's so many nice trucks. I mean, this year, like, the quality of trucks are just... They're and, awesome. And the working trucks, too, this year has oh, yeah. been... There's a really special one here, I'll show you. Uh, it's pretty neat. There's a, there's Mr. Massey right there. What there's is the up, man, man with the plan. No, we're good. We're Cut. making the YouTube videos. I I told him uh, that you were gonna let us test drive uh, Bo Cephas for the video. And so, yeah. See all the black marks on the highway out there? Yes, yeah. sir. That's all from Bo Cephas. What, the other night? We'll do it again on yeah. Because you got to get the tires warm yes. before you start trying to drive it. Yes. Traction. Now, I tried. I tried to. Uh... <laughs> I tried to get Mitchell Bottomley to go to the race trip. Last yeah. Night. He didn't want to go? Wouldn't do it. We're broke down. I'm waiting on a tow truck. <laughs> hey, I know that guy. He could probably fix it. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're good. Thank you. See that 450? I like that 450. That thing's nice. I like that one a lot. I like that one a lot. Is that Charles Fitzgerald records there? Yes, sir. I thought so. I thought, man, that's got to be the Fitzgerald trucks. So, see you, buddy. We've got a lot of, because we have the collision center. Yeah. And they, they run those trucks like crazy picking up wrecks. So, I don't know. We'll start down this row, right? Yeah, let's just start here and... Uh, Class of 78. I bet that's a 1978. I'm going to say I'm going to go with, with think, 78 model. Think, think we're right there? Yeah. j and L's. So, he wasn't even going to put this truck in the show. And uh, me and Luke, I told Luke, I said, see if we can go park his truck over here. And uh, he goes, no, we, just, we use that as to haul our stuff and we're not going to bring it to the show. So, Luke says, let go. So give me the keys. If I wash it, can we park it in the show? That's his work truck. Oh, yeah. Dude, um, you know, and it's super nice. I don't know. I, like I thought when I got here, um, I backed in over there, which I parked like five trucks down because I didn't want to like get too close to, you know, because I was like, I can't compete with that. Yeah. Um, I was like, man, that's. I thought he was bringing it to show, and he's like, no, shoot, no, that's the work truck. It's just the work truck. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, it's just like, man, that's a dang nice work truck. That is a super nice work truck, and people surrounded it all day. Look, people now, taking know, pictures with it. Now, I know this one's got to be up your alley. Oh, it is. I've done, me and this dude's getting along great. Man, yeah. The guy, so he's out of um, Orlando, yep. and uh, that's just a super cool truck. Inside and out, too. I mean, it's uh, Detroit. It is a nice ride. Did you see the air ride kitty head on front of it? I have not. I, I think not, you would like that. It. I, I want to, a little bit. You know what happens when you start walking around and you get the yep. pull the 100 directions? Yeah, 100 directions. But that it's, truck is gorgeous. That dude kept that thing. I mean, he, he rolled in here that clean. Yeah. And uh, and we had rain and stuff. And so, mm -hmm. I mean, sharp truck. No, I come over here. As soon as I seen it pull in, I'm like, well, I got to go see that. And uh, dad was like, I don't think you'll like it. And then... Uh, we got over close to it, and I was like, yeah, I do like that. That thing, that thing is super nice. You guys, there's the Fitzgerald Wreckers. Look, I, okay, I want to go ahead and jump off here. I want to show you my favorite hood emblem of the, of, okay. the, of, the, of the show. That thing is awesome. Oh, yeah. Dude, I didn't it's even notice Delaware that. Art number three. If there was a hood emblem contest and I was giving it away, that, that one would win it. it. Yep. I freaking love the hood emblem. Do it for Dale, baby. That is so cool. Where would you even get that? I don't know. But I love yeah, it. Yeah, I like that. I don't know if you know the story behind this 359, but... Oh, the one down here? Yes. Oh, yeah. So I've become pretty good friends with them at the last truck show. Yep. Um, I actually did a video on it. Okay, uh, you did? Oh, yeah. Okay. The Johnny Cash truck? Yes, sir. 
that thing is that thing is super cool. And them guys check on me all. They they are the coolest people. Mm -hmm. um, so this is my buddy Michael Dalton's truck. He's uh he uses this to haul his race truck. He runs in the ODSS series. Yep. And uh, we done some work to it. This is what we just finished. Oh, right no, that here. truck. And uh, I mean, I didn't really get time to clean as much as we would like to. The color is just amazing. Have you seen these guys' trucks? Yes. They're All Detroit swapped and. I tried to buy that white one right there. Did you? Yeah, he wouldn't come off. That kid's 20 years old, drives in the state of Tennessee year round. He's about to turn 21, well, so he gets to get start. out of the state. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I was this, like, you, oh, man, I love it. I'm here. still going to show it again because that is my. All three of these trucks right here are just. They're all 359s, ain't they? Yeah. And they're mint. I mean, they're and like. Every bowl cool. is factory and. They're the most fun to talk to. Those they are. dudes know more about this stuff than we'll ever get to. Like they've done it. Like it's they're the most fun to walk around and talk with. What I like about his truck is every zip tie is factory, like factory location, mm -hmm. factory. I'm like, they use zip ties it's back got then. Sixty-three thousand miles on it. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. How y'all doing? How are you, sir? Good, man. So far, so good. Did you man. did you bring the truck in here? Uh, no, I did not, man. I had a terrible mess after Thursday night. Didn't get to bring it. Okay. I was going to. Well, at least you made it. Huh? At least you got here. Yes. That's all that matters. I was going to, and I had every intention of doing it, and I had a big mess Thursday night and couldn't do it. It happens. Maybe next time. Yes, sir. Maybe. Glad to see it's you out here. It's a great turnout, man. Dude, it is. We got some it's nice trucks. Great, man. Yeah. It's looking awesome. We'll see you around. See y'all. Yeah, that thing there is my just, favorite truck. So I'm going up. We're going to go. Uh, we're going up to his place uh, in a week or two and doing some stuff with him. Oh, that's going to be cool. Because yeah. he's a great. He's a good dude. Didn't he come down like Wednesday? Wednesday. He got. He called me. He says, hey, can I come down there Wednesday? I just don't want to get any rain. I said, you can come whenever you like. We'll, we'll make it work. That's Bo Cephas. Yep. There's Bo Cephas. They get the oil leak fixed on, I guess? They got it. They got it. So this motor, he was sending, he was sending me videos via text with the head off this thing and the whole front clip of it off of it and everything else a week before the show and uh, he's like hey we're just getting ready for the show and he's like sending me this and i'm like look if you guys don't make it i understand you got a lot to do he says no no we're gonna make it i think that they he said he thought his mechanic was gonna quit when he gets home but they got it they got he said they got it done and they're here look? they did awesome. get a job on that truck yep it is a beautiful truck and that was a work truck yeah there's the my favorite this truck. Is, uh, this is, so this year, uh, aside from our, aside from Bill's Legendary, which is gonna be my favorite truck forever, yeah. of the trucks that come out this year in the circuit side of things, it's Jamie Williams cab over. That is the freaking super cool, ultimate awesome setup. And the cool thing is, is he's gonna show it this year a little bit, and he's using it for the business. I mean, that's that, what he that's said, gonna, yeah. It's gonna be a work truck. And then you look underneath it on top of it, dude, it is the most Well, I was looking awesome at it, and I actually truck. got, like, you know, all over it the other day. Yeah. And I'm like, holy, just the stuff. I'm like, how do you even come up with this? How do mm -hmm. you do this to something like this? You just roll a door in the back to keep all the oil safe and away yeah. from everything. I mean, the whole, the whole deal is super thought out. The other there's side, there's there. fuel oil throughout the whole thing. Yep. The it's cat, and that's a pretty hot cat, too. Here's Bill. Let's see what Bill's got to say. Bill. If you were looking for a service truck, you know, for your business, would this suffice right here? I don't know if it's good enough. I don't. I mean, wait, could you? I mean, would this be a bill approved truck? Yes, it would be a bill approved truck. Okay. I'd well. probably just be a mechanic if I owned that. I mean, it just so I, I could drive that around. Mechanics, um, what would you call that? Uh, apprentice? No. Yeah, apprentice. apprentice or, uh, like a groundskeeper, but for the truck. But for the truck, you, yeah. you get it parked up, you set everything yeah. up. <laughs> I'd get it all pretty looking, stand back and watch them work. <laughs> all right, Bill. So our next question is: If I just sell my business, can I come drive Legendary? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Didn't even have to think about it. Didn't even have to think about it. When's it going on the road? Is it ever? I don't think I can put it on the road. It's been on the road. Has it been on the road? That thing went to work as soon as we got back, oh as soon as we God. left 75. California. It still uh, looks like it did when Washington. we built it. Yeah, we've, we've, uh, we've put 25,000 miles on it already. Wow. So, yeah. Wow. That's what it was built for. Yeah, my full intentions was to go to work with it. Well, I'm proud to see that. 
because that it is a beautiful. Good. It is a when beautiful. The boys go with me. We got bunk beds now. So. Right. Yep. That is a beautiful truck. It I, really is. Most fun truck we ever built. I think it. Like, I had an awesome time doing it. Yeah. Yep. Well, I'll tell you what. One day when I get like 90, maybe I'll have one like. That. <laughs> well, my wife tells me when I'm 80, I can get a motorcycle. So maybe when you're 80, you can get that truck. Well, I'll trade you a motorcycle for it. Because <laughs> my wife won't let me have one no more. Oh, man. We'll ride around. We'll go. Have you seen Chad's truck yet? No, I have. No. We'll wait to Bill. He's got his tire in us real quick. He's like NASCAR. Yeah, it over here. There. <laughs> I mean, the man's got his own golf car. I, mean. I know. <laughs> See you around. See you now. He's a cool dude. Yes, sir. Super cool dude. Chad's another one of a great friends. I was like uh, super lucky to be able to like, we got to build this truck with him. Um, Still know the guy forever, but this is his setup. And uh, that is a we got to work on it together. Setup. You got to, you got to come yeah, let's just go look at it. So this is, this is the man. This is the man. Right here, Chad hey, man. Barry. Well, Chad Barry, I like your truck. He's got a YouTube channel with for everything too. Oh, do you? Yeah. I do, yeah. Well, yeah. guys, what's your YouTube channel? Barry Trucking. Barry Trucking. Yep. Pretty, pretty specific. So, like, I know we build the custom trucks and things. This man builds a lot of really awesome custom trucks. Thank you. When we did this thing, he's teaching us stuff. So, like, pretty cool YouTube channel. Well, they got That's cool. I want to go check it out, actually. Yeah. We'll give you a shout out. But we painted, so when we painted this, if you, you can't, we painted it. Clearly. So that's not stickered? Then. No, this is paint. Oh, wow. So we painted it, uh, cleared it, wet sanded it, cleared it, wet sanded it, buffed it, and you can't feel the, you can't feel the strike. I tell you what, it does. That paint looks like you just stick your arm through it. Yeah. Uh, took the door handles apart and did that. That was the first truck we kind of done that on. And when I was like laying out the stripe design yep. with Chad and everything, um, we kind of did this and it went right through the door handle. We're like, let's just take everything straight through there. And it worked out amazing. Man, this okay. truck is just, I mean, the, the detail it's simple but it is just it's a beautiful truck i is. never liked purple and he's but he's a purple guy yeah and then after we got done i was like kind of like purple i like purple now too. holy crap oh wow this is what you mean? yeah i like that deck plate too i like that deck plate yeah chad built the deck plate himself um we did the hidden depth tank on it, so. Oh yeah, I thought it was a glider. Like yeah. I really. Yeah, no, so uh, it's just under here. And then he's got the air all up. I can't reach my hand over there, but because the cab's down. But, uh, you undo that, that comes down. Depth tank's right under there. Oh, so that. Open it. Open so, it. so that slides down? Yes. And then, yeah. oh, go ahead. I could get my arm under there with the, with the sleeper down. I didn't want to start oh, doing it Oh yeah, hard. it may not. Oh shit. No. There's a little bit. Oh, we got it. There you go. Shit. And then see right there. Oh, right there's the. That's cool. Yeah, and we done it with the four inch factory straps. Right. Which was like you couldn't screw up because you can see how much space you got. That is all the room of air you get. That is the coolest. That is pretty daggone yeah. cool. The trick of it is you got to really be careful when you stick it back under there because it wants to hit them high. You know, yep. Yeah. Out there. That is pretty. That's. So I swear, the whole time I thought this thing was just a, a lighter. Yeah. yeah, no, it's a 605 Cummins X15. Chad did all the interior. Um, I like the carpet. Yeah, the carpet. That's what it's... I don't know how you keep it clean, but I like it. <laughs> you work really hard. You, <laughs> you definitely don't get in there with. Though. You don't get in there with dirty shoes for sure. No, no. there ain't been shoes ever touched in pedals since I drove it. I know there wasn't one. Right. Track. If you go back, you probably find some chains sitting down in there. You drive this maybe, going. Maybe a French fry or something. I mean, it hides stuff really. Is this well. truck's down the road, or is it a? What's that? Y'all drive this one he on the road it every, every, day. every day. Every day. That's cool. Yeah. Heck yeah. That's awesome. We did. Uh, we painted the trailer and stuff. They brought it down. And uh, y'all did an awesome. I like how just simple and not yeah. simple it is. Yeah. That's everybody on the internet knows all about this. I can't believe they're working and it's still that clean. Yeah, I mean, it oh, went straight yeah. to work. Did you see those hoses? I, the, whole, the whole truck just thinks it's awesome. All, uh, like they all come out automatically. Yeah. Set up. I mean, like. Martin's Honey and Hives. So that's where the truck came from. 
So this was an old honey truck. It was a flatbed, and the guy hauled uh, honeybees. Really? Out of California. They found it for sale. They went out there and bought it, and the guy was kind of like, didn't want to let it go, but let it go. Yep. And they, to you know, keep it, they kept his logo and stuff on the inside of the doors when they built the truck. That is so cool. That's kind of like my Peter Bill. I have to, like, keep like where that guy died, like yep. memory of of it. Because yep. I mean, Peter built literally had it all branded in the truck mm -hmm. when they built it. That's so, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I really want to get you guys to do some stuff to get custom. You and know, then, but you know, legendary. Hi, Sarah. Hi. So that's the most extensive truck we've ever done uh, to date, and uh, the most fun truck we ever built. And um, I don't know, Bill and live with. Seem like we lived together for like six weeks straight getting this thing oh, done man. and the family all came down a lot and the kids helped us and um every time I that's a build like, that you could really appreciate i mean for the rest of our life the, the yeah. memories of building the truck is better than the truck for me uh, it, yeah, i love amazing. how people's like when they when they see this they're like oh i bet the owners i'm like bill is really a if you would never even know if if you just didn't know yeah you know? yeah yep. no. they're uh the, the whole family they're all awesome. very humble kids his kid's 15, he parked half the trucks in his parking lot. Yeah. I mean, he never drove an A model before in his life. And I was like, hey, the keys are in that. Do you care? And he put it up there against the fence, one and done, backed it in. He took that one back. I mean, like, the kids uh, were 15 years old. You could give them the keys, he'd go to California and nobody knows. That's the way, yeah, that's the way he is. I don't know if I'd say in California. He'd probably get a ticket, but. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I've seen that one. This one, uh, this one here is pretty neat too. Yeah, I like it. So these guys oh. are Haynes Farms. They're out of Alabama, but they built this entire truck in house. I actually saw this thing a couple months ago. I was down in um, down at their uh, their shop, me and Tommy were. Yep. And this was in one building getting painted. This chassis, they done everything from the ground up, motor and everything, and was building this just a couple months ago and finished it, and brought it here. That's a beautiful truck. Yeah. So that's kind of how I'm going with mine. I want to do. I said. Like that's how clean I want mine to be yep. exactly uh, that right there. And they done their whole thing in house. I mean, they're a trucking company, but they they, they do all their stuff. And yep. like that's a, that's a sharp truck. They did a good job. Yep. They did a really good job. With it. Um. And then you got the bottom lease. Yep. Now now you got no more audio. All right, we are clear. No more music. Got it all turned off. So uh, this one, this one's a super cool truck. These guys came down. Uh, we're out of Kentucky, and the three here are all his, uh, the jailgate guys. If you walk around this truck, it's beautiful. Oh, I man, I, yeah, I do too. That's why I wanted to, I mean, it's, and it's, like, when you actually look at it, it's not extravagant, it's simple. No, it is. It's, I mean, the inside beautiful. Look at this, guys. Did you see the way he did the door? No, I did not. Actually. Oh, wow. So the speakers are hidden in there. I mean, that's super sharp. That is pretty cool. And I like how he's got the seats back. Yeah. And he's been to a bunch of shows and won tons of awards since they got this thing out. Oh, and rightfully imagine. he should because it's just, you walk around this thing and it is just awesome. One thing that I like to notice, I mean, it's work truck too, but so you know how people use the clear film? Yep. yep. So using this 3D uh, vinyl wrap. It looks it's like, like carbon, carbon fiber, yeah. It's like carbon fiber, but it protects the fenders, which is a yeah, great idea. That is awesome. It's even on the tanks. Yeah. And, oh, that's cool. And yeah. it's a work truck, so it's like it's. I love the fact that they work on and this even this green truck it's oh man they're all work trucks yes and they're super nice that's what's cool so do you see I don't know do, if you've I'm seen guessing, I'm guessing they built gates yeah I must maybe some guess. really good gates or something yeah, <laughs> yeah JL, is that JL I guess JL gate company I'm gonna check them out um did you see what we're doing to Wesson's? Well, you're going to do Wesson's. <laughs> so I know you're doing a bunch to it. So the sleeper, yep. we're completely replacing the panels on the side. Okay. And it's getting doors. Like actual, you're going to put the doors in the, on both sides. So four door. He wants a four door. Yep. It's got recliners and all that stuff in the back. Yep. Um, we took that job on. It's been a task, I'll just be honest with you. The, the, door, the door's not so bad, putting the door in. Right. It's not. It's just it's uh, intimidating. It is. You've never done it because you're gonna be like, you're gonna draw it out, you're gonna look at it, and you're gonna measure it 14 times before you cut it, and then you just hope that the 14 measurements are right. Well, we put Bill's window in his truck. You know, it didn't have a window in the back of Legendary. You're probably like, oh, because it's a double buck <laughs> sleeper, and we're like, me and Bill are sitting there, I'm like, we got to put a window in this. He's like, yep, you're right, let's do it. 
So we made a template and like, we were like, window looks good here and we're gonna cut the hole and figure the rest out. And it was fine. You just gotta just, you gotta just cut the you hole. You just gotta cut the hole. You gotta start. That's what a couple people told me. They're like, man, just cut the hole. Just cut the hole. You know, the rest of it will work out. Well, you want to you want to cut a you want to cut a cut a couple holes? <laughs> we'll cut some holes in the sleeper. We're not scared, dude. I think I was actually thinking about it the other day. I'm like, maybe I should just cut Brian. And yep. I know you guys have done some crazy stuff so like I that. I built templates. The, the way we do it to be safe is I've got a template for a window out of steel that I can set on there where I need it where I need to go. And then what I'll actually end up doing is cutting like most of the hole out and then clamping that steel deal around there and then taking my saw and then cutting around it so the hole is 100 percent perfect like the factory. I make templates and I've got one for a door and so I'll cut most of the hole out and I'll set my template up there clamp it all down and then cut around my edges and I got a perfect hole for putting your door in so guys so, this is why Brian lives in my head rent free the first night I met him I was picking up when I pick up some fuel tanks from you yeah and yeah. uh at a gas station and he starts looking at my peat I was in the peat and then uh I don't know if you remember talking about how you wanted to build some brackets and then how you do my frame and all that stuff yeah I've not liked that truck since. I'm like, not until it's all that stuff is done. <laughs> yeah. You do some amazing work. I do. I really like your work. This guys, truck is one of my favorite ones here too. It we is. We didn't do anything on it. Just yeah, love it. it is. It's and I like how everything's all nice and neat. Like you guys did legendary. Yeah. Um, so guys, you got to go check out Brian's channel, the Semi Casual channel. We need to get that thing up to like 200,000 subscribers so they give us a free Detroit. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We, maybe they can make that happen. Um, no, seriously, though, their channel is so... I like watching it just for the amazing work. Yeah. So we did that. I got to show you this engine. This is one I, of the, Oh, yeah, this is so the this one. So this is the first X-15. Let's start on this side of it. This is the whoa, whoa, there's two of them. What the heck? We ever pulled out. Uh, and Mitchell said, hey, we, I want to do a custom engine. And, you know, when the whole truck was done, this engine was red. And uh, Mitchell pretty well said, hey, look, y'all do whatever you want to do. Just, you know, make it awesome, which is great. So then we pulled this whole thing apart and did painted all the front of this stuff and uh, painted the engine, did the valve cover, uh, all the chrome work. I took so many parts off and had them chromed and polished. And um, I like how simple you got the harness. The, I, I, that's got, what I appreciate. I got, I've got five solid days of doing that harness. Really? They, that harness is redone completely around the entire engine and a lot of stuff's rerouted differently to get out of the way the ac lines you know how they usually run yep the ac line goes across here i routed it comes down goes down the frame rail and comes back up over here so you never see it and it's all hidden and all this i was stuff. wondering i like you said you see the ac line i'm like no yeah so, so <laughs> yeah i see it now up, comes up to here but you can't find it right that's cool um so we did a lot of we did a lot of fun stuff with this just to uh just to clean it up because the emissions engines have so much more going on yeah they do and I, I was it was fun we did that one we've already done three others since and uh, the the task of it was uh it's a good challenge when's the last time you slept i don't sleep so the, well, that's right so that's i will tell you the only reason i can't watch your channel a whole lot is because i'm super intimidated <laughs> you do no i'm just kidding you really do some awesome stuff and guys it's crazy because they you see it in one video but how many hours you probably got hundreds of hours in this thing yeah i don't know i don't know we told them we would do it for x yeah. and we got it done and i probably was like way underbitted it because i thought yeah. you know you look at anything and you're like oh yeah man i can get that knocked yeah. out yeah. and then it's never what you really intentions of it being but we were learning with this so i said this is, you know he said this is a fair number we did it um, well, I'm just, I mean, it, it's what I like about it is when you say you're going to do it, you don't stop till it's done. Yep. I, I mean, I love that you, y'all have got your shop set up to where it's just one day. I mean, I hope to be there, yep. honestly. And I mean, you're killing it. It's and fun. in we the truck it. game right now, you guys are the, you're the shiznit. Thank you. But all bottom lane trucks look good. Every one of his trucks are super nice. His fleet trucks are like a yeah, motor operator. I, was, I think I watched that truck. video where you guys went up there and. Yep. So guys, if you go to the, the semi-casual channel, they actually went to Bottom Lee's new shop and did the yeah. whole um, like cleaning bay, like pull up, fuel the trucks up. I mean, you guys have to go watch this video. It is one and, of the most top-notch facilities for a trucking company and probably one of the best trucking companies you can work for. It's still small enough that you matter, right? right? You're not you're not stuffed in there with you're thousands not a number, and thousands. Yeah. Uh, and all his equipment this isn't like for a show this is work equipment that stainless reefer that truck that is what they put you in yeah yeah so this lady drove in here probably off of a load and, yeah. and come to this 
And now they wash their trucks every time they come in too. They got a wash bay when they, they come wash in. Bay, the whole deal. So after I seen that video you guys put up, I called Dad and I'm like, all right, so this is what we need. And, uh, <laughs> We're gonna need a wash bay. Yeah, and, well, I mean, we need this facility. <laughs> and one day, guys, this is uh, so the reason like we like to come to these shows because everybody's down to earth and they're not even though they might have like a super badass fleet like this right here they're not scared to tell you how they got there what they did to get there and you know really gives you confidence on on I, doing I'll, it i'll tell you this i've learned everything i know about any of this stuff that goes on here by going to shows and some of these people like yeah. i didn't wake up and know anything about this stuff uh, yeah. and like we still learn stuff every day in the shop and if i ever run into like issues i can call like a chat i can call bill yeah um, there's a ton of people in here that build trucks they yep. have done them and, and that we've i've learned it made connections and the best friends i have in my life are all here right yep no i love it i've had at the absolute best time and like bill you know if you don't know bill um and i didn't know him that well yeah but he just comes up and starts talking to me like you know he's just i'm just a another trucker just like him and it's then much. when i realized who he was i was like wait that's bill russwick <laughs> and uh and that dude's he's a badass yeah. in my book the book of trucking bill's a badass yeah. and uh and hey. anything that fitzgerald yeah. does did you jump it or anything no, I didn't no. Jump it. it'd have been more fun those ditches over there are pretty deep I was just get right there, there. Yeah. this is david so uh he came in and actually helped us build this truck too but silver dollar which is right here that awesome yep. 44 inch that's his truck and uh how many miles you got on yours now 87 since thanksgiving 87. Yeah. Dang, you've been rolling. Yeah. Been rolling. If you want, how you like it? Spotless. I love it. You like it? I'm wanting to make. I'm. I don't know. I'm having a hard time. Uh, Brian here has reassured me a thousand times. You know, hey, get a new. I think you're going to be fine with the new motors and the. You know. Uh, and, I mean, I'm fine with mine. I mean, I had a little hiccup with the death system. That was it. Was shortage of parts. You know what I yeah. mean? I mean, that's I'll not, that. yeah, the nothing PDI, we can do about that. PDI tuner on it, stuff like that. I have no problem with that, you know. Hey, everybody says that new PDI kit on those suckers, or? Yeah, oh, no. well, we did the Mathis truck over here, and I put all the PDI stuff on it for them. And well, it's, see, uh, it's nice. Well, it's all still intact, right? Yeah, like it's all 100% yeah. intact. It's all compliant. It's, it's EPA approved, the whole deal from, from PDI. Yeah. And it does, it, it wakes them up. Oh, it, a lot. Yeah. Like come across 81 loaded. Yeah. Like no, nobody's business. No, I had an X15 running on me the other day, and I was in a, you know, 650 horse truck to the ground, and I had an X15 running right with me all day long. He yeah. stayed, oh, they and uh, and you know he might have got some better fuel mileage too, but I don't know. I got to get over that being scared, I guess, and then. Uh, it's like cutting the hole. You just have to do it. You just have to do it. Just got to yeah. try it out. And this brakes is nice. Yeah. That's definitely a nice feature. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good safety feature. The truck stop like a Ferrari. That's what I said. Like, you got disc brakes, it stops like a Ferrari. So you like the disc brakes? Yeah. So I've been, you know, contemplating on switching mine over to disc brakes. I'm redoing a Peterbilt right now, like a 379. And I really want to do disc brakes, but, I was, you know, I never drove one. The upside of that is, too, DOT can't inspect them. Right. So you get a DOT guy who wants to be a jerk about your drum brakes. Yeah. They can inspect drum brakes company you know he was 25 or 22 trucks at the time and he was all gliders all paper lock yeah and when they were going to everything else he started buying new trucks and selling his gliders and going to new trucks and then now his fleet's almost all new trucks uh i think he's only still got like two or three of the older ones yeah um, and he said it, when he started doing e-logs it hadn't changed his business whatsoever everybody's all freaked out about the hours you can run this and the other but it's just a matter of planning it well, yeah especially he's got dedicated stuff you know what yeah. i mean like there's the same pick up all the time but difficult with me with e-logs because i'm always going to different places picking up so i never yeah. know how they're going to be loading and unloading yeah you know? so i might go go be on be like oh it's gonna be quick to get loaded you sit there for six hours right that bones yeah it totally bones that, that kind of that. messes it up yeah yeah but if you so, have a dedicated deal that you know you get in and well out, see our in stuff's out, pretty much out. dedicated we we haul boats so we kind of know and it, and it works good with the dealers and yeah if you get um, in and out quick unloading yeah. and loading oh yeah you know, ours is planned like, out because they all come off with yeah. a crane so there's yeah. got to be an appointment for a crane you know when you're going to get there you pull in you're loaded you're unloaded um they don't work on weekends they don't work at night you got just daytime hours it's E-log, simple no problem, yeah yeah no problem yeah. so and, and, and he chooses when he loads unloads and he exactly. controls offloading and loading product exactly so yeah that's true it's I'm just easy. wanting to uh, make it easier on our office people and 
and we're on to grow our company and we're at the part you know right now we're ready to really really grow trying to keep up with the older trucks it's it is starting to be challenging for parts yeah so well and it just gets to be uh, to wear you out yeah and then wow. auditing logs and stuff so i get where you know it's i guess it's kind of a i don't know i just other. need to make the plunge and try it and see what happens so i just started that trucking company i got eighty-seven thousand miles on it and i put not a dime into it so eighty-seven thousand miles is all right. money to the truck not putting yep. nothing into the truck besides a little bit of maintenance, oil maintenance, change. Maintenance, oil changes, stuff like that. Trying to keep it yeah. nice for truck shows. So you're going to put stuff in it to keep it. Well, see, I'd like to do like 300,000 miles. Maybe start just uh, three, 400,000, trade them in. Yeah. Get three and 4,000, trade them in. And do it that way. I mean, I know, I mean, look at Bill. His company's been very successful. Mm -hmm. um, and he does the same thing. He keeps yeah. them up for two, three years. Yep. Puts and then new trucks in. He ain't worrying about having to change motors and do this and yeah. do that. And then He's got a shop to do it, though. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. But yeah. like, when you got that many trucks, like, why are you gonna add that headache? Right. Yeah. Why do that when you could just make a phone call? Brian ain't another truck. Yeah. And what these service guys are charging nowadays? Yeah. It's, it's crazy what they charge yeah. on the road now to get anything done. It, yeah, it's nuts. So you want to finish up? Yeah. Well, it's yeah. good meeting you. You too, bud. Like yeah. a truck. Can work. Can work over there. Did you see where we took the tractor out earlier? Yeah. Did yeah. you get to drive it? No, not yet. Yeah. No, he said if we want to drive it, we go. I want to drive it. Dude. The tractor's one of the coolest things. It is. So and that's Firewire. We use a ton of their products, and those guys are awesome yep. too. I think they're going to come down and help me uh, light out Weston's truck. Oh, nice. Yeah. So there's a nice 359. The tractor here. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty neat. So there you go, guys. That's kind of just a walk around. Which I'm going to get some more of the, you know, close yeah, get some close-ups, but. It's nice to have Brian drive us around and show us, kind of tell us where everything's at and who's who and what's what. My man. Is, this is fun. I'm fortunate. We're, we're all fortunate to have this many awesome trucks and have you come out here. Yeah. Oh, uh, man, I've had an this, awesome time. It's already sold. Maybe already sold. Maybe already sold. Maybe already sold. So the man's not paid you yet, has he? No, no money's changed hands on no, any deal. But too definite that they want it and they're working on it. So if they don't take it, we're gonna get a call and yeah. we're gonna come get it. Right. All right, sure. let's let's talk about it a little bit. <laughs> but I've got to get back into Peterbilt. W9's all right. I just got to get back in Peterbilt. How long's it been sitting here? Right now. Yeah. Uh, we got here. Uh, got here twelve, like twelve or something. Jeez. Still holding air good and all that. Yeah. So, good cold air conditioner. <laughs> yeah. When it's right. Yeah. Like I said, when they messed with my air-to-air -air that last time, yep. it got me. So I don't know if they got something. This would be a perfect work truck, man. Perfect work. It's a flat top like I want. Okay. Well, if they don't buy it, I want it. It's sold. For sure, we'll take it. I want to put it to work. They don't buy it. I like it just because. Somebody have it who really take care of it. I'd really take care of it. Yeah, this would be up. my personal truck. I wouldn't let nobody drive. Can I open it? You care? Yeah, it's locked. Yeah. Yes, sir. God, this thing's sharp. Like I said, it ain't a lot on the inside, but it's all there. It's a work truck. Yeah. All there, all that junk in the way. Oh, oh yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, Looks good and clean. We got plenty of Peterbilt parts. Yeah. 18 speed. Smells like a Peterbilt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to open the doors. So like, nah, it's not good enough. It don't need any. It don't need to be. <laughs> That's why I want it so bad because I can see how OCD you are about it. Mm. Yeah. Um, like I said, it needs new things. Yeah, door hinge has always needed that since I got. When I walked up to you, you start telling me everything that was wrong with it, yeah. not how good it was. Yeah. That's the kind of people I like to buy from. Guys, I really want this truck. Oh, I want it so bad. Man, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I like the lights on it too. How yeah, you got the lights running up under the 
That actually looks good too going down the road. I mean, yeah. they're bright, but. Yeah. All right, well, man, you did a good job on it. It's a beautiful truck. I appreciate it. I like it. I wish I'd have got it all the way to where I wanted it. Yeah. We got it pretty far. Well, let me know. If they don't happen to buy it, I'm definitely interested, all big right. time. I'll do it. I'd like to see y'all with it, really. I mean, if uh, you decide before I go home, you can just drop it off on the way home, or I'll take it with me. <laughs> all right. Appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Oh, man. I really want that truck. You have to get that thing. We gotta get that thing. I wonder if I offer him like 25 over what they're giving him. Cause that's still a good deal. Oh yeah, for sure you can still get. All right, guys, y'all got to see the tow truck. Profit trucking. I think I actually. Uh, I think I actually do some like they buy compost from us. Don't profit buy compost from us. It says it on the mud flaps. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, dang, that is so cool. I would love it. I would drive this thing all over the country towing. My gosh, this thing is awesome. Auto car. I think you imagine back in the day driving this thing all over. Man, look at that. Look at that darn. I don't know. How'd I do some work to it? I, I drive it everywhere. Would you? Yeah. You ride it. Grocery getter. Your grocery getter. You driving this thing with you with me, wouldn't you? Yeah. Hey, guys, this thing's cool. She got a Cummins in her. 400 small cam. This is what this back in the day. This is what they used to. No different today, just a lot. Yeah, I'm sure a lot less problems. You imagine pulling a, flipping a wreck over this thing? I mean, the cables look good on it. Maybe they do use it. I know one thing, I like it. There's the big Peterbilt cab over. I want to go look at these stack brackets, Dad, and then we're talking about them. This thing looks pretty good, too. I think it's a set of pipes. Looking for it. The cut? Yeah. Where's it at? Oh, okay. All right. Oh, so you kind of double framed it? Yeah. Staggered it? Yeah, staggered it off about a foot. One guy said do it at least minimum of a foot. Yeah. That's about what I do mine. About ten, eight, eight to twelve inches. Yeah, we staggered and then had a guy build uh, bent this inside yeah. five sixteenths double frame yeah oh you got plenty of double frame space plenty yeah you did a good job on that it looks good can't even tell it it's still still in the works so. hey it looks good man hey, looks I, good. It. I seen you come in i thought dang i'm actually shortening mine a little bit are you uh, yeah the lime the the green one or the yellow one you, you watched the their channel yeah. yeah yeah uh yeah yeah the freight on her truck we're gonna shorten it up so it ain't so long for it to have to deal with. Uh, well, when we, when we did this one here, when we bought this frame, we to set it up here where it was at. It was gonna be yep. extra bolt holes. Yep. So I told my son, I said, we'll just take and 
extended another 14 inches, whatever, which it made it a little bit longer than what we really intended, but 290 is what it's supposed to be from the center, center of the wheels yep. to that center cap on the steering. I mean, it really ain't that long, it just it looks so long. It, it makes cap. it look yeah. long, but it, but it acts like you're saying, if you take a hood, yep. and then you take a sleeper. It ain't long at in. all, yeah. I mean, I'll, 290 is a perfect number for me. That's what I like. You did a good job on it. It looks good. I do that in the yard, I'm guessing too bad. But All new hose. I bought this whole back half. I like it. it. This was a, this back half came off of a 89, 377. Yep. And then we, uh, we ended up changing out the old, uh, old style, the old style wheels. Yep. Put the uh, new hubs. New, new hubs and all that stuff on it. Hey, you did a good job on it, evidently, because everybody's been over here. <laughs> I seen you pulled oh, in, the, there, there was a line guys. coming. I said, yeah. <laughs> hey, I appreciate it. Thank you much. Yeah, man. You did. I even like how you moved them down. That's a good idea. I just moved this thing, yeah. you know, stainless steel, just to help. I thought you had a T-bar. I said, no, he just got, he just moved everything down below like a T-bar. And they're flexible, so. Yeah. I like how you did your front quarter fenders, too. Yeah, man, you did an awesome job. Hey, I appreciate it. Come tell me about this thing or I'm going to video it. All right, guys, check this thing out. How old are you, 20? So you'll be able to legally drive it out of state soon, right? Man, you did an awesome job on this thing. And I the work myself. 18 speed guys. They did all this theirself, every bit of it. 12 7. Brother, you did an awesome job. We'll be hollering at y'all. Stay in touch with you. Yeah, definitely. They did a Detroit swap in this truck as well. And uh, that truck. So, Detroit, Detroit, Detroit. Big Kim. All right, guys, that's going to finish off today's video. Thank you guys so much for coming and watching the truck show with us. My beautiful, amazing wife and Braxy and my whole family and the whole crew is here. Everybody come over to support us. We had reports of people driving like 10, 12, 13 hours just to come and watch and meet us and see the trucks and all that stuff. So I want to thank everybody. We had an awesome time. But I'm going to spend some time with my family now. We love you guys and we'll see you on the next video.